Okay. Do you know anyone taking this uh, supplement here, vitamin E? Um, this is an e-liquid, comes in a dropper formula. There's all different kinds of forms, but um, if you are or you know someone who is, have them check the back of the label and make sure that it, well, if they're taking a synthetic form, make sure that it says L instead of DL. I'm sorry, make sure it says D instead of DL. <laughs> DL would be the synthetic form. And the, the synthetic form of vitamin E is actually... Um, processed and extracted with chemicals and they use petrochemicals to do that for example they'll extract uh, the E from a soybean oil that may even be genetically modified so um, you know you want to definitely make sure that you're getting a non-synthetic form and if you want to take it to the next level I would recommend getting a whole food form because there's actually eight different unique isomers of uh, the tocopherols which means that there's a whole bunch more than just the one that's in the usual supplement that you're buying. And if in a whole food form, you'll also get all the phytochemicals and the naturally occurring uh, biochemical, biochemicals and, and all the things that you need, the minerals and the vitamins that also come in the whole food form so that your body can actually absorb it and assimilate it and it won't be hard on your liver. The synthetic forms are hard on your liver. Your liver really doesn't like it. Plus, you're kind of wasting your money because you're not getting you're not you're not really absorbing it because your body doesn't like it that much you can also eat foods if you want to get more vitamin E you can eat almonds and peanuts and sunflower seeds uh, the only thing with these you know if you're eating those kinds of nuts make sure they're raw because many of those nuts are cooked in canola oil or cottonseed oil or an inflammatory oil omega-6s and so this causes more inflammation in the body so eat your nuts raw or eat more spinach avocados and broccoli Wheat germ oil is, and wheat germ are really good ways to get your vitamin E as well. But if you're deficient, you're never going to get enough just by eating the foods. So my highest recommendation would be to do a micronutrient test, of course, right, and see are you deficient in something like vitamin E? Because whenever we're, we're taking certain supplements that are very specific like a vitamin E or a vitamin D, or a selenium or a vitamin A. We take those things because we think we need them for a specific cause, but you should know for sure whether you do or whether you don't because if you take something like this and you don't need it, it can create imbalances in your body which cause problems on down the road. So a micronutrient test really is just a way to see if your body needs things like vitamin E or any specific supplements that you're taking. And um, I still have the micronutrient test special going on, so if you want to join in on that, you got to register by June 10th and uh, we'll get you booked. It doesn't matter where you live, but you'll get a discount on your rates for doing it as a group and uh, you'll feel better for it. So let me know if I can help you with that. Otherwise, go eat some spinach. Bye.